good good that you understood and you're taking care yeah i told you right with proper care and management and understanding diabetes can be reversed theek hai now follow what we have discussed and don't forget warna fir se mushkil ho jayega what do you think diabetes can be reversed it can be it is possible i'm dr raja indana i'm an md physician and diabetologist i head the medical team at m fine here today we are going to discuss about diabetes the prominent features what causes diabetes what are the types of diabetes so what exactly is diabetes lot of us think that diabetes ho raha hai matlab wo sugar ki wajah se ho raha hai jo hum chai mein lete hain that's not exactly right you should understand that diabetes means blood glucose going up not just sugar it's glucose now this brings us to the understanding that what are the ingredients that we are eating that is giving you glucose it is carbohydrates what are the food we eat there are three major nutrients that come from our food they are carbohydrates proteins and fats the carbohydrates digest and the end product of digestion is glucose the proteins digest and the end product of protein is amino acids and the fats digest and the end product of digestion of fats is fatty acids and glycerol so what are the sources for these carbohydrates proteins and fats carbohydrates we get that from rice wheat maybe chapati roti bread bakery items biscuits sweets whatever that you are eating the major energy source is carbohydrate protein comes from foods like meat eggs milk fish and vegetable sources like soy sprouts or pulses and also paneer and the third nutrient is fat the sources of fat are vegetable oils fish meat and there are flax seeds and other things each of these nutrients have a definite purpose in our body carbohydrates the only purpose is an energy source proteins are the building blocks of our body from hair skin organs tissues bones everything is made up of protein apart from building the body proteins also are used in the formation of enzymes hormones and also various other functions now coming to the fats it helps in cell growth keeps the body warm also protects our body organs by giving the cushion and also helps in formation of hormones now you see carbohydrates and glucose have only one function in our body that is to produce energy source whereas fats and proteins have various other vital functions in our body apart from producing energy but our diet is maximum taken over by carbohydrates which is the major problem what is happening in diabetes any excess glucose that is coming into the blood from our nutrition from our food that gets converted immediately into glycogen in the muscle and liver or it can get converted into triglycerides a form of fat and stored in the fat cells so what's happening in diabetes assume that you have a fridge at home whatever leftover food you try and keep it in the fridge so that you can use it the next day but what if you got up the next day and prepare fresh meal what are the chances of that food coming out of the fridge very minimal right same with our body whatever fat that is getting stored in our body in the fat cells is a reserve form it's like put in the refrigerator but you don't take that out and give keep giving fresh glucose or carbohydrate food every 3 to 4 hours what happens the fat stays there in the fat cells not bringing it out into the blood stream that's what is happening because of high blood glucose so coming to the types of diabetes there are two types of diabetes type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes in type 1 diabetes there is a problem that caused all the beta cells in pancreas to get destroyed 
and there is minimal or no insulin production. This is type 1 diabetes. This is not common. Okay, this happens because of some infection in childhood leading to loss of the pancreatic cells which produce insulin. Okay, so there is no insulin and these people have to take external insulin. Coming to type 2 diabetes, what happens here? In the initial part of type 2 diabetes, it is not lack of insulin, it is excess insulin. Your body, your cells are not responding to the amount of insulin because there is very high blood glucose. And in response to this, your body keeps producing more and more and more insulin. But the cells in your body are not responding to the high levels of insulin. This makes your body not utilize the glucose which is there in the blood leading to increased blood glucose. Whereas type 1 diabetes is not a lifestyle disease. It is a process of destruction of islet cells of pancreas. In easy words, the cells that produce insulin are destroyed. But whereas type 2 diabetes is mainly lifestyle related. Whatever the reason is, it is important to manage your diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, definitely they have to be on insulin. Whereas in type 2 diabetes, there are a whole lot of changes that we can do so that we can bring back your blood sugars to normalcy with lifestyle changes and expert management. In our next videos, we will discuss a little more about type 2 diabetes and lifestyle changes that can help you reverse your diabetes. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and share this video. For more such videos, do subscribe to the M Fine channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update.